Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will compare MailChimp and MailChimp. The first thing I will look on are pricing plans, then I will go to main features and some advantages and disadvantages I personally see in both of these tools. Now, MailChimp pricing plan is focused directly on how many emails you're going to send per month. Comparing to the MailChimp, it's all about how many subscribers you get. So in MailChimp, you got a free account right here and that's up to 2000 contacts but it's really limited comparing to like essentials because in essentials you got a b testing email templates multi-step journeys on automations and the free account is like you're not going to do much there right but you can see it here so free account is all about 2000 contacts but the other hand mail mail jet it's all about that you can send 200 emails per day you can see right here 6000 emails per month but I would definitely look on premium version because you get a marketing automation there and that's really useful for your business. If you're going to have a lot of, uh, like if you want to send advanced emails, marketing automations is top notch thing to have. Now, MailJet is much cheaper when we talk about the pricing plans. So let's say that you want to have even like 5,000 subscribers, right? 5,000 subscribers and you're going to send them, that's how many? Six emails? six emails per month six newsletters you would say you would pay on basic version ten dollars and per month twenty dollars on premium that's like amazing price it's one of the cheapest right now so 21 dollars that's amazing but on the other hand look at mailchimp mailchimp with five thousand contacts on essential you would pay $53 and standard version $80 and premium is like so expensive, right? So you can see it by yourself that MailJet is much cheaper. So from the pricing standpoint, MailJet is completely dominating MailChimp. Now let's talk about the solutions. They are really simple and really similar. Let me show you the features because MailJet is extension of MailGun. That you can actually like combine because Mailgun is all about um, like if you're a developer, Mailgun is an amazing tool for you because you can actually edit everything and program everything. So you can see it right here, Mailjet with a create beautiful responsive email. This is similar with a MailChimp. Let me show you. I'm gonna go to campaigns and I'm going to open a campaign. I can design the email. It's quite similar. So products. And then like it's similar with the drag and drop system. There are many things that you can choose in MailChimp if you want to. And you can see it right here that you can add, add simple add text, etc. Now to go even further, yes, grow your email list, you can organize your list and segments. And then you get like also the automated workflows. The workflow is MailChimp that are much better comparing to MailChimp because in MailChimp, it would take like, it's much more hard to get a grasp on how to actually use it, right? So you would click plus here, and you don't really know what to do, how to work with it. There are not any templates. In MailChimp it's different, it's much easier. And then you get something that MailChimp doesn't have our SMS campaigns. So that's really amazing. Now, if you have any questions, guys, ask me down below in comments. The last thing I want to show you is what other people think about it. So when you would go on Trustpilot and MailChimp, you can see it right here that for the last, I don't know, year, year and a half, MailChimp is not what it used to be. They just got too big and I think they just don't care. So you can see so many reviews here that are just bad. I wouldn't personally use MailChimp because it's too expensive, but that's just me. Thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions guys, ask me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.